Hey guys, welcome back. Dream Reaver 23 here with another Let's Play episode of Nomoria. Uh, fun game. If you haven't checked it out, please check it out. It is available on Steam. We can see that they're actually moving the uh, storage, uh, the food and everything like that down here into the bottom area from what we did on last time. Uh, this series is going to be a game to where pretty much you're just going through and playing a game and building up a little gnome kingdom, if you will. Uh, we do have a lot of work set out ahead of us and uh, got quite a bit done on the first two days of spring with the uh, last episode, so make sure you guys check that out if you haven't checked that one out. These will be in a playlist, so you can watch them one right after another. Um, so a lot of stuff going on though. You can see that they're moving the crates and the storage and stuff like that down here. So we got the, the barrels down here already, and they're going to be moving over the uh, the crates so they can store food and stuff in there. We will need to eventually get more built, but for right now what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be going into terrain and uh, mining out some of these walls. So that we can have um, just an easy way to get, you know, back and forth on the system uh, to go downstairs a couple layers. Let's see, we're at layer 5. We want to go down to layer 7. So if we have one for the entrance, one down, two down. Five should be good. We'll get them to where they go ahead and start. Digging that down. I don't know where our miners are. There we go. Alright. Now let's go to... Almost messed that up. Nope, actually I need to do this one. Dig stairs, R to rotate. So this we know is our main set, so we're going to go in one. Have them remove floor right here. Then we're going to have them mine these walls. Same method that we had whenever we were coming downstairs. All right, now we have uh, one more. So this is layer six. We're gonna go dig stairs down. Stone sandstone stairs, nice, okay. So this is a sandstone area. Mind the walls out. All right, and then right here, we're going to have this set up to be a three wide. So this will be just like what we have for our hallway up top. It'll just be coming off the side right down here. we could actually bump, bump. there we go now we have generally the same layout that we do up top Except this is uh, set more for uh, being directly underneath the layer up top up here. So that way we can make sure dimensions all stay the same size and we know exactly where everything is underneath each other, which is cool. And then they'll dig that area out too. So it'll be just basically a. Oh, nice. A good replica of what we have up top. And that is copper ore, which is good to already get some metal coming through right in the area. That is really nice. 
So now we have plenty of stone, we can actually start building our uh, workshops, which is really nice to be able to get done pretty quickly. Now we will still be building our workshops up into this area, and the reason is is because we want to make sure that we have uh, plenty of, of uh, open access to our storage, and then also lumber right up top. So that is nice to be able to have. Uh, so let's go ahead and build workshops, and we'll do crude workshop. Now, in the way we have this set up, we have it set up to where we're actually going to put the sawmill back towards the back. If you remember correctly, we have it one, two, three, and then a space, and then one, two, three. Sawmill, and then it'll be a space, and then one, two, three. Now, on this other side, we're also going to be putting over here. Um, the stone cutter. Rotate this around. Stone mason. So there's that that one gap. And stone carver. And then we also have the wood carver right here. That's like the fourth one. So we'll set that one right back here. So now you have light can be able to be put in between these two. And then you have all the shops that are right there for your stone and for your wood uh, carving and cutting and everything like that right in one area, which is really nice. So that's how that one will work out and it'll work out pretty smoothly with that. Our food uh, supplies are getting lower. You can see them right here. Uh, 75 food left and 99 drink. So we will need to go ahead and start building up a farm area eventually. I am going to have them dig this area out a little bit more too. Mine, mine wall. This will be what do I have this as? Nine by eleven. So four on each side. Three, four. Agriculture, farm, let's go ahead and set up some groves. We'll set the groves up. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. We can do that as a nine by 11. Trees, we will plant. We can do orange trees. That'll give us a nice size, uh, a nice amount of oranges that we can pick through there. And then this one was one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll do this one as a nine by 11 as well. We actually did that one nine by nine, but we'll do this one as uh, birch. All right, and they already have the um, the crude workbench done, and they're working on stuff to get the other workbenches done as well. So see, it can move forward really quickly uh, getting this first area set up, but there's a lot more into it. I mean, you can go through and have the looms and everything like that, and once you kind of start getting to a certain point, uh, you will also have uh, the animals and the, you know, being attacked and everything like that, which we want to try to safeguard against as well. How big of an area is this?
one. Oh, we'll do it this way. Alright, so we did do that in 9 by 11 Nice. More copper along those lines, too, which is really good. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and let them kind of get some of this area set up. I'm going to pause the video, and we shall be back shortly. It'll be instantaneous for you. Instantaneous. <clears throat> Alright, guys. Coming back in. Um, my mom called, and I talked to her, and I forgot what we were talking about last. I apologize for that. But looking at it, I can't say what we got going so far on here. I did have them build a well. Uh, so this is just a sandstone well made of sandstone and uh, birch. This is going to allow them to where even if they run out of drink, they will be able to not die of dehydration because they have a well going right there. I am trying to get them to build a uh, bit of an area right here uh, so I can designate a stockpile, which I am still going to designate a stockpile right here. Uh, we're going to go 7x3. And this will be for uh, clippings. Plant. So seeds, clippings, grain, straw. Okay. So that will be able to get them set up right there. And then they can uh, start getting a lot of these clippings. You can see all the clippings kind of right here. And they're just, it's, it's all over the place, which is no good. I mean, it makes it to where we really do need to get some bags on here. Do I have, let's see if I can build storage bags oh we do have two bags okay so they'll go ahead and get those moved over what is in here cotton bag strawberry seeds so that has a lot of strawberry seeds in there so we can go ahead and make a farm if we wanted to I think we'll go ahead and get that area set up We'll give a gap of one in between there and do the same thing. 11 by 9. This is going to be a, a strawberry farm. We'll do the same thing right here. One gap. And we need to clear out this area. them do their thing up there if we look down here we can see that we have the crude workbench done we also have the stone cutter done the stone mason and the carpenter done and they are currently working on uh, getting the uh, the sawmill done these are gonna allow us to do a lot more work with the um, the stone and the wooden stuff like that when we're building up so we can build our things like looms and our like uh, stuff along those lines Pretty soon we will need to also get um, some walls built up for protection. So we'll probably have to be doing that here within the next couple episodes. What is in this one? This one is cotton and, okay, cotton and strawberry in there. I tried right here having them to where they were putting a wall up, but I don't know if that's going to work right there. I was just trying to give a little bit more space for up top to be able to utilize uh, for storage. Let's go ahead and um, get them to mine out these areas right here. I'll actually give a gap of one. 11 by 11 sounds good. Actually. Nine wall. Do a gap of two. So that way we can have it even with this one. And then... Bam!
so the clay design, and the reason why we're doing those is so that we can have an area set up. We'll have an area set up here just for kind of like all the cooking and uh, brewing and stuff like that. And then over here, we'll have an area set up that'll be a dormitory so they can sleep in that area instead of uh, just on the ground. We will need to get some beds made, but for to do, be able to do that, we'll need to be able to make, uh, I think it's the loom and uh, what else is there? Build, workshops, so loom and tailor shop, and then having the butcher shop, we'll actually put the butcher, uh, probably put that up top. But those will be able to allow us to be able to make the things like beds and sheets and stuff like that. Um, the uh, furnace and forge and smelter and blacksmith and stuff like that, we are actually going to put down on this floor right here, where it's closer to the metalwork. It'll just be an easier spot to run. And eventually, hopefully, we'll find some coal so we can make some torches and get some more light in this bad boy. Because that'll be nice. Having light is good. Because right now, they're just providing their own light. <laughs> like they glow in the dark or something like that. Don't look at me, Bella. My skin is made of diamonds. Um. <laughs> so, yeah. We'll get those guys set up in that area. This one might be a little bit different down here of the layout just because we have the stairs coming down. But it will still be able to work, no problem. No problem. It'll be all good, bro. What do I have this one being? Strawberry farm. Okay, and I got this. Stop it! I got this area dug out over here. So we're going to go back to over here to agriculture real quick. Set up a farm. One gap in between. And then, what was it? 11 by 11? Ah, uh, okay. Terrain. Replace floor with dirt clump. Build. And then we need to get them to come across here and to forage. And then now we'll be able to build the farm. And this will be a cotton farm. Cotton? Yeah. Cotton or wheat? What did that one is cotton? And then let's set up an area in the middle right here. Fill these trees. And forge the ground. made that nine, uh, 11 by 9 instead of 11 by 11. I did this one 11 by 11. Gap of 2. And we'll do this one. Okay, so that one will be 9 by 11, which is pretty nice. But cut down this last tree. And we'll put this one as wheat. So bam, we have our two groves set up, one for birchwood, one for oranges. We have a cotton farm, a strawberry farm, and a wheat farm. And then we'll go ahead and we'll close this area off. We'll put basically a two-space gap in between here, and then we'll put the walls up around the edges. So that'll make it to where we have some protection, and we also have all of our farms enclosed in with a water source, which is really nice that we have the water source available as well. So see, that will work out smoothly. So that's what we got have that's what we have planned for this 
uh, episode. We got everything kind of set out what we wanted to get done on there. Um, on the next episode, we'll come back and we'll start to see the progress of the, uh, the, the, the farms starting to grow and then finishing up more of the work down here, which they already got the uh, wood carver done as well, which is nice. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do on the next episode is going to try to continue just getting a base set of operations going and then we can start getting uh, more work going down into the mines and getting the forges and stuff like that set up in the kitchens and distilleries and brew some ale and mead. So join me next time, guys. Make sure you do. I will have a uh, this set in a playlist to where you can be able to watch it. These are coming out every two days. And uh, so I guess every other day they'll be out. And so make sure you guys join in and check back in whenever those come up. If you would like to follow and subscribe, uh, that way you can get the updates whenever I do have new videos come out. Just click the subscribe button down there. Always appreciated and lots of love towards you when you do. Until next time, guys, I am Dreamweaver23 reminding you to game happy, and I will see you all later. Bye, guys.